G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be discussing the 2017 draft. As some of you know, in 2015 I did do TC Cup Radio where I went to a couple of TC Cup games a weekend um, and commentated. But when I was on the boundary I got to um, yeah, get really close to the action, uh, which was fun. I got to go to the huddles at quarter time and um, three quarter time and talk about them. Um, and I also got to interview the players after the game. Now a lot of the players I interviewed um, didn't get drafted but some of them did. So the year I did do TC Cup Radio, um, some of the names you guys might know. Benny Crocker, who is at the Pies now. Um, Darcy Tucker went to Frio, um, he was from North Ballarat. Jacob Hopper at GWS. Um, Ryan Clark, who's at the Roos now. He was one of my favorite players to, to watch at TC Cup level. Um, Sam McClarty was another one um, from the Pies. Yeah, I love commentating TC Cup. Here's some of the chats I had with Darcy Parrish, Reese Matheson, and Kieran Collins. Here's um, a very timid sounding McDonald um, chatting to some of those players. Here with Darcy Parrish. Uh, Darcy, a bit of an arm wrestle at the start of the game, but uh, the boys, to their credit, in the second half uh, kicked clear. Yeah, definitely. It was, um, oh, it was good to get back out there with the boys, I guess. Had a few weeks off, and um, yeah, to play the game like that and get up by a few points was yeah, really good for the boys. And yeah, I think we all did our job really well, so yeah, pretty proud of the boys' efforts. And uh, obviously, you lost uh, the big key forward, Charlie Kerno, a couple of weeks ago. But the, the forward line seemed to work uh, pretty well today. Yeah, obviously shattering, um, losing, yeah, Charlie, because pretty close mates with him, and, yeah, he's such a good player. Um, yeah, Zach Zybel and Derby Shield are, like, yeah, just competed hard, what we asked for, I guess, and, yeah, really did their job for the team. And when you get a, uh, a player like Josh Shackey to, to work, to play on, um, over the weekend, how do you prepare for that? Is it a lot of homework, or...? Oh, I've, I've trained with him a lot, and through the academies, I know, know how he plays, so I sort of come into the game pretty confident, I guess, and... It was definitely, definitely a hard challenge, but I thought I managed it pretty well and it was a good, good battle between us. And uh, for yourself, kicked a nice couple of goals, uh, one in the second quarter. How good is it to get on the end of a couple? Yeah, it's good. It's good to get on that one through the middle and the boys look after me a fair bit with a handball. So, so the boys are really good tonight giving me a chop out and so, yeah, that'd be why I kicked them the goals tonight. All right, well done, mate. You yeah, go cheers. enjoy it. At the end of every game, um, me, Phil Crooks and Rick Morris, the other commentators, um, who were really good blokes, just took me under their wing and it was... Um, yeah, it was really nice to have some people that would look after me, um, being the first time I'd commentated any sort of footy. Um, yeah, we'd, uh, we'd give votes at the end of the game. And uh, you might call me Kevin Shifter Sheehan after this because I may have given votes to a potential Melbourne star. I gave one to uh, Clayton Oliver. Um, he was... I know you guys said an old-fashioned football, and I, I truly believed he was. Um, he was in and under, pretty physical, um, and his tackling was was very good defensively for the Murray Bush Rangers. So I gave one vote to him. I also may have discovered someone that's probably going to go number one this year. I'll get to that in a sec. There were some awkward moments though. There were some awkward moments doing the TC Cup footy. Um, I went down to interview a guy called Zach Sprow. He then got drafted to the GWS Giants. Went down and had a chat to him. And at one point in the interview, he just started swearing his head off. And I was like, I don't know what to do. This is on live radio, mate. You can't swear. Um, so take a listen. And how much fun does it make the drive home after a victory? Oh, it's sensational. It's a shit house drive home back to Albury where I'm from if you lose. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good. Thanks, mate. Thanks, you, Tom. I spoke to Geordie Gallucci. He was one of my favourite players. Um, he was like bottom age. And um, when you speak to these players, it's funny the the absolute change in their voice between like TC Cup level and AFL and how professional they can get to um, when they talk. But when I talk to them, they're just school kids that you know, there's a possibility they might get drafted. But, um, yeah, I talked to Jordy Gallucci, um, and he gave me absolute donuts. <laughs> yeah, boys, just here with Jordan Gallucci. Jordan must be uh, pretty stoked with the win. Yeah, no, it was a really, really well-fought, um, hard hard game from the boys, and we thought we thought we did the things right that we needed to do, and we played really well. And you must be, uh, you must get confidence running out with Ryan Clark every week. He's he's had another enormous performance today. Yeah, he's just a machine. He's a running machine, and I wish him all the best for what he's going to do. And playing a game like you boys did today, you must be confident going uh, deep into the final series. Yeah, look, we're really looking forward to the challenge, and I think we've got a good group of boys this year, and I think we should go pretty well. All right, thanks for your time, mate. Thank you. And then another player that I really enjoyed commentating was um, Jade Gresham, who's now at the Saints. On the game for the Northern Knights, I've off his own bat in um, 
in his last TC Cup game ever. And his team didn't make finals, and it was, you know, he, he won the game for them. He kicked like two or three clutch goals late. So then I go up and talk to him. Season's over. And the last thing I say to him is good luck for the rest of the season. And you've had an amazing season yourself. Um, I know you'd like, no one likes to speak individual, but you've had a pretty good season. You must be happy with it. Yeah, I thought I played pretty consistent throughout the year, so which is good. And, yeah, still got a bit of a way to go. So, yeah. All right, well done. And enjoy the rest of the season. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And I meant like good luck for the draft, good luck for the, you know, the Morris medal. I meant like good luck for the end of the year. But I say to a guy who's just finished his season, good luck for the rest of the season. And now to this year's draft, because I did TC Cup Radio a couple of years ago, um, you know, there's not a whole heap of players that I, um, I, I've seen really, to be honest. Um, this crop, there's only like a handful that I even really know about. A kid who dominated for the Eastern Rangers was Jaden Stevenson. When I watched, um, he was 16 at the time. He'd only played two or three TC Cup games that year because he was underage, but they brought him in at the end of the year. He ended up playing finals and he just dominated. He kicked like six a game and I just couldn't believe it. So I asked him, um, one of the questions I asked him was, you know, how easy is TC Cup footy? Donald and he is speaking to Jaden Stevenson. Jaden, what a feeling this must be. Oh yeah, it's great. I mean, I only play a couple of games, but it's a good feeling and the structures are all working, so it's good. And uh, you popped up with a couple of goals. How easy is TSC Cup footy? <laughs> oh, it's not easy. I think they were a bit lucky, to be honest with you, but just trying to do my role. Another player that I got to speak to, this was the first game I ever did commentate, um, not just on the boundary, it was down at Dandenong. Um, I got to speak to Hunter Clark, who is tipped to go pick seven in, um, in the draft this year. Uh, with the academy, Hunter, have you got to travel yet? Because I know at under-18 level there's yeah. trips to America and South Africa, Europe. Have you got to travel yet with the uh, with your time um, at the academy? Yeah, we just recently over Anzac weekend, we went over to New Zealand to verse the New Zealand yep. senior side. And last but not least, the big bloke, Cameron Rayner. Um, I watched his first game of TC Cup footy last year. I went down, I was on the boundary. We did the votes at the end of the year. And listen to this, I can officially claim him as my man. Because this was his first game of TC Cup footy. Um, he played a very good game. And three, I'm going to claim him as my man, Cameron Rayner. Um, very consistent all day. He's a big boy. And uh, yeah, I thought he was one of the reasons the Jets got over the line. So I guess I should probably be an AFL draft. Um, expert really. Anyway guys, a uh, bit of a different video, a little bit more chilled, relaxed sort of vibe. I appreciate all the support on the song so far. Uh, you know, let's keep it ticking over. Um, probably the, the hardest song I've, I've worked on. <laughs> it took the longest to write, but it seems like you guys are enjoying it. So um, yeah, I appreciate all the support. And I'll be back soon with another video. Cheers. Jeremy, how should one mark of the year? Jump was so high, results were so clear Joe's name was red, nearly spat out his beer How he's now gone for a long walk on the short beer